What's going on everyone? Jake at Shady Creek Marina, El Dorado, Kansas, your Kansas Ranger dealer. I have a 2023 RT 198P here that we got in last week. Just got it folded up, ready to go for sale online. The rest of this video, I'm going to hop inside and take some measurements of some things that people often ask me for measurements for that Ranger doesn't necessarily have published online or easily available for everyone. I often get asked about front and rear casting deck widths and lengths. So the first thing I'm going to do here is this rear casting deck all the way to the end there to here. Back of the seat base about 50, 51 inches. And then the width right behind the driver and passenger seat. Right about 83, 84 inches, probably a little bit wider in the back. Right here in the middle behind our passenger and driver is our divided live well. If you take this divider out, Let's see what our total width is here. We have about 34 and a half, 35 inches wide or long, however you want to think about it. It's about 12 inches, about 13 inches tall. So there's the live well on this RT198P. These are just draining storage. That's the battery compartment. I'll put that back later. All right, up here in the front, the width of the casting deck right in front of the console is, about six feet two inches 74 75 inches right there in front of the console and all the way let's say from the edge of the recessed foot pedal back to the end of the rod box lid that length is about 75 76 inches could exaggerate that number if you get up there all the way to the bow it's about 95 96 inches true lid width uh, this rod box is about 23 inches and our opening here is more like 15 and a half it does flare out a little bit on the sides there these are the standard Springfield seat bases let's see how tall these are those are about about 13 inches and about 13 inches and always 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 I get questions about the size of the panels on the dash and up here in the bow seeing what we can flush mount so this is we ordered it naked no graph up here we typically custom them out anyways this is about 12 it's just ch just shy of 12 and three quarter inch. And it's about eight and three quarter inch height. We do have this Elite FS7 already flush mounted up here. And from that little lip, to that little lip there on the gauge cluster. It's right around 14 inches. 
a little over. And then from there to the top there is about 10 inches. And lastly, I get asked how tall these steps are because some folks don't do well with steps. It's about an eight inch tall step from the floor to that compartment. And then an additional six and a half inch step from the compartment up to the front casting deck.